I wish I, I wish I knew then what I know now, like for real. Hi guys, it's your girl Zara Jade here, and I'm back again with another video. A very calm collective because we have business to talk about. Yes. So this section of my YouTube is going to be called Grown Woman Era. I'm going to be talking about all things woman related business related everything that has to do with elevating yourself as a woman taking care of yourself as a woman and just being a good woman in general so let's just get right into it okay guys so as you can see from the title this video is going to be about things i wish i knew as a teenager so first things first you are your own best friend and i mean that in the most politest way possible i have many friends yes throughout our lives we encounter fake friends but i'm just trying to say you are your own best friend don't always take judgment from other people most times you know what's best for you so do just that sometimes your friends may not have your best interests at heart they might have their best interests at heart if they're your real friend they'll respect your opinion like most times Friends have different opinions. You might have arguments, different things like that. You you and your friend, you guys don't have to always agree. Agree to disagree. That's just the main thing. Learn to agree to disagree. You know what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Don't do what Sue and Pam wants you to do just because they want you to do it. It's, it if it's not something that you want to do. Do what's right for you. Don't, follow, don't be a follower. Do not be a follower, be a leader. Because girls look up to leaders, trust me. Like, when you be a follower, people just see that as an opportunity to walk over you. Don't be a follower, be a leader. Even if that means you have to lose friends, then so be it because they weren't your real friends anyway, period. Secondly, stop caring about people more than yourself and stop putting people before yourself. I'm not saying to be mean, I'm not saying to not be kind, I'm not saying not to be caring, but to an extent, because just like the previous thing that I mentioned, you could be used and abused. People take advantage of weak people, okay? You, you have a friend and you just, she wants to do this, she wants to do that, she wants this from you, she wants that from you. But it's when it's your turn, she's never there for you or he's never there for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Take care of yourself first. Put yourself first. I'm not saying not once or twice, look out for your friend. Yes, but do not ever put yourself in a position where it will jeopardize yourself. Always look out for yourself. Be yourself. Don't let anyone feel that you're less of a person because you're different. Your personality is different. It doesn't matter. You are who you are because you are who you are. They are them. Never try to be no one else. Never try to change yourself for anyone because they don't like who you are. That's their problem. Like I said, people come and go out of your life. I wish I knew that like. At some times, I used to be such a four friends type of girl. Like, I would, it was all about my friends, all about my friends. And, and then I realized, like, hey, these people are just taking advantage of me. Like, these people, like, the people that I wanted to try and follow, I had to realize, like, no, those people don't have my best interest at heart. And I'm this way and I can't change. Like, I'm not, I don't even feel comfortable trying to change myself to be the type of person they are. So why do it? For what? Because at the end of the day, like, all that won't matter. Like, it won't matter. It'll just get thrown in your face. Like, things will backfire on you so bad, literally. So don't do it. Number three, men will always be there. And when I tell you they will always be there they will always be there okay jack or tyrone from high school and this goes for males as well jill and pam 
from high school is not the best slice of bread like yes i'm not saying high school relationships don't last some do but majority don't and majority of the times there are better people out there for you the people that you're with in your teenage years not necessary are not necessarily going to be the person that you're going to be with for the rest of your life so do not base your whole life around that person do not start like you know how you'd be like oh yes i'm gonna have a baby with you and we're gonna do this from now and I'm, i don't want to talk to no one else don't focus on men or women these are the times that you should be focusing on your life not men and women because they're not going anywhere they will be there i'm not saying that you shouldn't date i'm just trying to say don't base your whole life around this individual because more than likely you will not be with that individual and if you end up with that individual then kudos to you that's great but you don't base your whole life on that individual i have a best friend she's been with her boyfriend from since she was in high school they've lived separate places throughout the, their time my best friend has always gotten straight a's she didn't base her entire life around the boy is what i'm trying to say so yeah they'll always be there do not just don't overdo it like relax number four your life in high school does not determine your future and i mean this a lot of girls that were popular in high school not popular in the future a lot of people that you thought was had a lot of money in high school broke as hell broke as hell like your life in and i'm not talking about grades definitely your grades determine like you know it contributes a lot to your future because of college and uni you know you need good grades in the past you know it counts to a certain extent but what i'm trying to say is status in high school high school is a whole different world from the outside world literally status in high school does not matter like high school you could even even vice versa like you could be not very intelligent in high school and come out and be a whole billionaire after high school like that things like that happen this is real life do not base your high school experience as the, your future it's not your future like it's just high school high school is good for some people high school is bad for some people life carries on high school is just high school you're in it you're out if you had a good experience great if you didn't then such is life when you get out of high school you won't be seeing half of those people anymore you might never even you might not even see the the people that you went to school with for the rest of your life that's just how it is. People move, people change, like things just happen. So don't don't base high school your high school experience as a rest for your <laughs> Don't use your high school experience to determine your future, basically. Number 5. Be humble because anything, literally anything can happen to you. Do My not phone died. So as I was saying, do not be judgmental. Because honestly, I have learned, like this is coming from experience. Things you thought, things you thought would never happen to you would and could happen to you. Like for real. And I know what you I know exact and you know exactly what I mean. Like you talking about Shirley or Bob about this, that, and the other literally the same exact thing can happen to you like when i was younger i I'm, i was always non-judgmental but i know there was things that i slip and said like oh my god that happened to her her boyfriend happened to her i mean her boyfriend cheated on her um she failed that class this happened to her that and one or two of the things happened to me when i grew up like i'm so serious anything and everything could happen to you do not turn your nose up at people do not judge because listen be prepared this life out here will knock you down pick you up push you back down chew you up 
right over you, kick you down, throw you down. Like, it's crazy outside. Like, it's crazy. Number six, having a good personality and character carries you a long way. And I mean this. Listen to me. I'm a girly that always gets jobs. And I'm not just saying like, oh, have a good personality, character, you get a job. No, but that helps. When you go on an interview, they love people with good personality. You don't even have to be like so energetic and loud like I am. Like, just be a genuinely nice person. You go to an interview for a reason, okay? Obviously, they're wanting a job. They're wanting to offer you a job, but you need that job just as bad. And you need the job. They can find someone else to replace you. You, it may not be so easy for you to get another job. This comes with everything in life. You may need help. People know you to be a nice, good person. They'll help you. And don't feel like you'll never need help in this life because you will need help. You most certainly will be needing help. Not everything goes right in people's lives. Like you don't just, not everyone are overnight billionaires. Not everyone have a yellow, I mean, a golden spoon. Like, yeah. So take a chill pill. Don't don't practice being the mean girl, the mean guy. No. Be of good character and have a good personality and you'll see how far that'll take you, how much doors it'll be open for you, like for real. No one said like you have to be friendly and nice to everyone. And, uh, no. Just be chill. Be calm. Have a good personality, a good character, and you'll go. So far, my dear, so far. Number seven, and this literally is my favorite, favorite one that I wrote. Save, save money and learn a skill. Listen to me. I'm 22. I'm going to be 23 in December. I'm trying to learn how to do lashes now. I wish, and the thing about it is I've, I tried to do it in 2020, but I just, just, I didn't pursue it. There's so much girlies and literally when I was younger, not that much girlies was into like entrepreneurship and stuff like that. There's so many girlies, young girlies, older girlies are out here just becoming entrepreneurs, like perfecting their skill, like get, get boss up girls and boys, like boss up, literally learn a skill, save your money to invest. I understand that the girlies want to be cute, want to be, you know, all of that. But save the money. Invest it in something that can make you more money. Because, yeah, being a city girl is cute. But not all men are willing and not all women are willing just to hand you money like on a silver platter without providing something in return. So why you don't just make your own money like why don't you just set your own self up for success in life? That's what I want to do. I know that's what you want to do. Because who doesn't want that? Like, who doesn't want success for themselves? I'm Like, not everyone's skillful. I get that. But if you have a passion, pursue that passion, okay? If you have a career goal, pursue that career goal, okay? If you have a skill, perfect that skill. Because trust me, wonders can happen. Practice makes perfect. And I I have a friend, she started doing makeup. It wasn't all that good. It was possible. Now this girl is out here beating faces. She doesn't even have to work. All, all Only thing she has to do is open her books and boom, everyone's there. Like literally, that's just how life is. Don't feel like everything is so saturated, watered down. Like, I wish I had started back then. I wish I, I wish I knew then what I know now. Like, for real. Yeah. Ignore my voice. Like, number eight. And that coincides with, I just, with what I just said. You are not too young to be successful. Don't let anyone tell you, girl, what you doing you're so young, go play, or what you doing? Da, da, da. No, no, because you don't want to be like me and in your 20s and just, just going to learn these things. Like, 
try to establish some sort of something from young. It starts from young. The later you take to start, the later you will have and reach your goal. Start from young. Work your way to the top. It's not going to kill you to try out something while you're young or aim towards something when you're young. Like, it's not going to, what are you going to lose? You don't have much to lose when you're at a young age to educate yourself on, you know, ways to become successful. Like, don't let anyone tell you, oh, look at you. You're only 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Like, no, you're never too young because there are literally people from ages 12 and up out there, like, really getting into it, like, really making the bag. So don't be like, you can't be one of those girlies or men, like, for real. Yeah. This is the last one. And this is the most important one. Life as an adult is hard. It is hard. It is not a real place. <laughs> like, being an adult isn't even real. Like, this is really crazy. What I mean crazy, like, anything that is anything can happen to you. Anything that you never dreamed would happen, like, happens. Like, this is not real. There's bills. You have to take care of yourself. Don't rush to grow up. Yes, plan for your future. Yes, have goals. Blah, blah, blah. Enjoy youth. Don't rush to become an adult and not fully plan for it. Like, listen, there are bills out here. There is literally working every day, non well, not every day, like work. You have to go to work. You think, oh, I can't wait to come out of school. Blah, blah, blah. Work. And I know I said, like, oh, get a skill from young. Yeah, that's something you're passionate about or that's something that you want to make you money. But it's a difference by having your own business and working for the man. Literally, when you, when you, when you hit, like, 18, 19, and if you decide to start working, you'll understand. It's not your time, you're on people's time. You have to wake up out of your bed, not wanting to get up. Not having time to get practice, not having enough sleep, working to pay bills, literally, like, it's not, it's not cool out here. That's why I'm trying my best to try and gain, like, you know, financial freedom. Financial freedom is real, like, you know, and even people who are financially free, they're still burdened by having to keep going and keep progressing because, they're scared to lose that financial freedom or if they don't keep it up they will lose that financial freedom but yeah life is hard out here so enjoy your youth i'm still young I'm trying my best to enjoy my youth while pursuing my goals but those are just some things that i wish i knew like when i was a teenager i feel like i knew some of them but i didn't practice some of them so I hope if you're watching this, you instill some of those things that I said in your life. And you can just tell me in the comments or tell me if this video helped you in any way or give you any sort of motivation. And thank you for watching this video. This was Grown Woman Era by Zara Jade. Bye.